Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. In this video, we will be talking about Java Swing and uh, we will also see a few applications related to this. So talking about Java Swing, it is a part of Java Foundation classes or acronymically known as JFC, which is, which is used to create window-based application. So this Java Foundation classes or JFC in short, they are basically responsible for creating GUI based interfaces or uh, applications which have a definite uh, representation for the user and it is built on top of the AWT or abstract window toolkit API and is entirely written in Java. So we have already uh, a brief idea about AWT and um, abstract window tool windowing toolkit or abstract window toolkit this is also used for creation of different graphical user interfaces using java and using this awt itself we can build the swing based gui um, or swing based interfaces but unlike awt Java Swing, it provides platform independent and lightweight components. So if we compare with AWT, Swing is platform independent. I'll write it down. Swing is platform independent as well as it is very, very lightweight in nature. So uh, and lightweight. Yes. So, um, if we are considering the various components, the components also look similar, but these components basically they are lightweight as compared to AWT components. And where do we get these components? They are basically uh, present in the Java X dot swing package. Okay, so whatever we are, uh, we want to deal with the swing based APIs or swing based control components we can use the java x dot swing package which is capable of handling different uh, java based apis like uh, j button so we will see how this works then let's say j text field and uh, then let's say j text areas so to name a few we also have J radio button, J checkbox, J menu, J color chooser, etc. So a lot of APIs, Java swing based APIs are present which is capable of uh, or which is considered, which can be considered in creation of uh, this uh, GUI based applications or the window based applications. Now before we uh, proceed further, let us uh, look into some of the key differences between AWT and Swing. So talking about the differences, differences between AWT and Swing, the, we can come up with a number of differences. However, the primarily, primary ones we can reflect it here. So the first point which we can consider is AWT if we are considering AWT on the left hand side and swing on the right hand side. So the first point which always plays an important role is platform dependent and platform independent. So AWT is platform uh, dependent whereas uh, swing is platform independent independent okay the next important point is uh, awt components are heavyweight whereas the uh, swing components are lightweight in nature so this is also one of the very very important concepts which are related to java swing one is uh, it is uh, heavyweight and um, awt is basically heavyweight whereas um, swing they provide lightweight 
features so when we are talking about lightweight the swing components are independent of the native uh, operating systems api as swing api controls are rendered mostly using pure java code instead of underlying operating system calls so hence it is lightweight in nature the next important uh, point is sorry the next important point is awt it doesn't support pluggable look and feel so it does not support pluggable look and feel so we'll talk about this pluggable look and feel wherever whereas in java swing we get a pluggable look and feel so when we are considering um, java swing features or when we are considering this uh, swing apis so basically uh, they can be changed at runtime based on certain available values which caters to the point which suggests that it supports pluggable look and feel and then one of the most important uh, oh before that we have to also consider point number four which is it provides awt it generally provides lesser components as compared to swing so though we will talk about components um, we will understand that there the components which are provided in swing is more powerful so when we are considering more powerful components it means that we also have tables then lists then let's say scroll plan uh, scroll pans panes and then we have color chooser so all of this they are basically provided these are just some of the components these are provided in swing whereas they are not provided in awt and the fifth and one of the most important point is that it does not follow model view controller so it does not follow mvc whereas in swing it follows mvc architecture so it follows mvc strictly so model view controller in my previous video we have already discussed about this so model here it represents the components data view represents the visual representation of the components data and will and the controller will take the input from the user on the view and reflects the changes in the components data now swing component has model as a separate element while the view and controller part are clubbed in the user interface elements because of which swing basically has a pluggable look and feel architecture and it can be changed at runtime based on available values so following of model view controller is extremely important and which is generally um, for the ease of decoding or uh, debugging the entire code so this is basically facilitated using swing so these are the five more most important points which we have to keep in mind when we are considering to choose over awt and java swing so next we will talk about the hierarchy of java swing classes now the hierarchy of java swing classes if we consider so let us consider the next page so object is the parent class as we already know so object is the parent class and this is basically extended by the component class this hierarchy we are considering only for java swing classes the component class is again extended by the container as well as the j component so we will talk about each of this in details in our subsequent videos but today we just have to understand that this is how the hierarchy follows now country container is again extended by the window class as well as the panel and this window is again extended or inherited by frame as well as dialog as and the panel is again extended by the applet so this is about the container whereas the j component hosts a list of java component or swing component classes which is 
let's begin from j label then we have j list then we have j table then we have j combo box we have j slider so all of these they will represent basically one component and it will have certain functionality based on which we can build the user interface then we have abstract button and finally this abstract button would be having another class associated with it which is j button so this is the entire hierarchy of the um, java swing classes or java swing api where different classes of different components are used in order to generate different components of the um, window based application now let us look into some of the commonly used methods of the component class so since we are primarily focusing all the java elements all the swing elements as components so we will consider the component class first and we will discuss some of the important methods which are there in the component class so talking about the method first of all we will be discussing about the add component c so add method is there and it is having a parameterized it is a parameterized method and it has parameter as component c and this method is used to add a component on another component so there is an, a component on top of which we want to build another component so we can use this method the next one is if we want to set the size of the component suppose i have a button and i want to set certain width and height of that button so i can simply use the parameters width and height and this is basically used to set the size of the component so this is also another important method because we have to definitely decide on the size of our components while we are designing the user interface or the uh, window based interface the next one is we will be using set layout and here we will be setting the layout manager for the component so layout manager m and this will basically set the layout manager for the component layout manager for the component then we have set visible so this is another important method so set visible and this will be passing a boolean value which will actually set the visible visibility of the component that means whether we can see that particular component in the layout or not set the visibility of the component and initially this particular method value is uh, by default so uh, if you are considering the default value the default value is false so these are the four important methods of um, using the component class now talking about certain examples which are which uh, by using swing so there are basically if we are considering a frame so there are two ways of creating a frame okay so if we are simply simply want to create a frame using java swing there are two ways first one is by creating the object of the frame class a creating object of the frame class frame class now this is basically association association and the second one is by extending the frame class so here we will simply extend the 
frame class now extending means we are actually uh, using the uh, sorry frame class yes so by extending we mean that we are using inheritance okay so we will one in one we will as, uh, use association in the and in the other one we will be using simple inheritance now um, we can write the code of swing inside the main uh, main method or the constructor of any other method okay so uh, first uh, we will uh, this are the theory theoretical aspects simple theoretical aspects which are related to java swing now let us uh, look into one of the programs in my next video we will look into uh, the programs which are associated of creating this particular frame that means we will look into association and inheritance particularly by using uh, or by look creating some programs okay so we will use both the concept of writing the swing uh, that means we will be writing or including the code of the swing inside the main method as well as we will also look into the constructor of any other method so let us um, wind up this video here and we will now go ahead with the practical example of the uh, of java swing um, by using association and inheritance thank you